By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome at another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are looking at the opening of four revised booster packs and they were part of a sealed magic event held at the Ufton Troll Cup in Leeuwarden. So this was a side event and as you can see there are four players in this event and they all have a nice stack of booster packs. And today we are just going to focus on revised boosters. Um, and this is the first booster. Now, obviously, when you open these, I believe you pay about 125 uh, up to 200 euros for a booster pack. So, you know, when you're opening these, you're not really doing it for the money, you're doing it for the nostalgia and you're doing it for the trip down memory lane. Obviously, it would be great if you get um, a dual land, but that's, that's about it if you want to get your money back. I guess a Wheel of Fortune, of course, would be another great pick here. Um, and in the uncommon slot, we have Demonic Tutor, which which is great. Uh, but let's um, let's have a look. And there are also a lot of other cards that that represent some nice value. So this is the first booster pack that is going to be opened here, and we'll also be looking at the value afterwards. Uh, by the way, because I thought it would be kind of nice. Uh, but let's first see what's going to be in this booster pack. I think I saw a black card card there in the uncommon slot. This is a basic plane, a Hurlum Minotaur, Phantasmal Terrain, Swamp, uh, Mesa Pegasus, Disintegrate, Blue Elemental Blast, Scaf Zombies, <laughs> going pretty fast here. It's giving me a break. Oh, we're almost at the uncommon slot. Circle Protection, White, Mountain, and an Island. And now for the first uncommon, we have a Juggernaut. We have oh this one stone giant and a wall of bone and for the rare island fish jesconicus <laughs> oh nice six eight powerhouse doesn't have a lot of value does have a lot of flavor uh, i must uh, admit that and this is kind of the or this is not kind of this is the pack so this is booster one i've put all the cards together for you to kind of get an overview so here you can see the commons uncommons in the middle and the rare there on the right the island fish just going so this is booster one this is what you can draw out of a revised booster and this is basically the, the total value um, what I've done, I went on to Magic Card Market and I said, okay, I want to have at least a near mint card, preferably a mint, and I want to buy it at a power seller or a professional seller. And this is what I got back. So the best price for the Island Fish Jasconicus was one euro. And then for all the uncommons together, it's about uh, two euros. And that's because the Juggernaut, if you want to get that in mint condition, you're looking at a euro 50. So it's actually pretty valuable. And an interesting thing happened to the common slot when I checked there. If you want to get nice common basic lands out of the revised series, you're looking at about 50 cents per basic land. So that's why uh, that number, four euros, is kind of high. So most value here is actually in the common slot when you sell those comments. Now, obviously, um, that is when you sell it online and there are you know cheaper ways of, of getting them. But if you need to go online and you need to buy them here in, in Europe, I'm located here in Amsterdam, you would go to Cart Market. This is kind of the prices that you get. So you could say Booster 1, the total value is 7 euros. So now let's go to Booster 2 and, uh, and have a look what's inside there. Revised Booster number 2. So um, exciting here. And I was thinking what are some other good pools? Mana Vault is a really nice one. Soul Ring is a nice one. In the uncommon slot, we've got um, Swords to Plowseers. Um, I'm, I'm sure there are a lot more. In the common slot, Lightning Bolt is, I think, the best one. And let's see. Oh, there we already see a Swords there. That's nice. And okay, I guess he's starting with the uncommon series. Swords, Death Grip. Uh, Rod of Ruin, <laughs> oh, he's I think he's showing you the thumbs up because he realizes that he's starting actually at the uncommon and the rare side of the pack. So we've got an Aladdin's Lamp, um, you know, not the most valuable rare, but it is a very flavorful one. Oh, and here we go with the comments. Basic Island, Basic Mountain, Circle of Protection White, Red Elemental Blast, Disintegrate, Mesa Pegasus, Phantasmal Terrain, and a Hurloon Minotaur. So we haven't really seen the Lightning Bolt yet or um, a Dark Ritual. And this is an overview of the pack. 
So this is booster pack number two. And I think the best card in here, or value-wise, is definitely the Swords to Plowsiers. But just look at that, Rod of Ruin. I mean, that brings back memories. And uh, again, I've looked on Magic Card Market and the total value of this pack is around 11 euros. If you're looking for reliable sellers and you want the condition of the cards to be near mint or mint. So Aladdin's Lamp is about two euros. I mean, you can get it for 150 if you want it in mint condition. Um, Swords to Plowsiers actually was the most valuable card in this pack. Um, if you want it mint, you pay around five uh, euros for that. And um, yeah, the other rares weren't, or uncommons weren't very valuable. Rod of Ruin, it's, I mean, such a cool card, but obviously it's not very valuable. Again, in the common slot, these commons were a little bit less in value compared to Booster 1, I think, because they're, or actually I know, because I checked it myself, uh, because there were less lands in there. So like I said before, for a basic land, you know, mint condition, if you want to buy that online, you're looking at around 50 cents per land. Um, anyway, so this is booster pack number two, and now we're going on to booster number three. And that was booster pack number two, and we're moving on to the revised booster number three. Now, um, it was nice. I was here in the room with them when they opened up these boosters. In the pub, I should say, and we were all kind of standing around in a circle. Because uh, you don't see it that often, you know, revised booster packs being opened in, uh, in 2019. It doesn't happen every day and every time an opening like this takes place it means you have less and less of the actual sealed product available and um, well let's let's see what booster pack number three is going to bring us going to bring to the table and of course we're all hoping here for one of those really valuable hits uh, a dual land that would be very very cool and we have a fireball as the first common and we have the Grizzly Bears, Iconic Cart, the Basic Island, and the Plains, and the Mountain, and the Creature Bond. I want to experiment a little bit with the Creature Bond. Uh, a Forest, a Holy Armor, and we've got another mountain. So quite a lot of basic lands in these packs. And the island, the most popular island, I believe, of the three different islands, and a basic plane. So I believe we're now going into the uncommons. There's an ivory cup. There is a karma. And the third one, and an orcish aura flame. And now for the rare. Yes, and there's the Underground Sea. <laughs> I, I knew it was coming, but I can tell you, I was there in the room when this happened. Unfortunately, I don't have any audio sound of it because people were just cheering, giving each other high fives, and very, it was a very exciting moment, you know, to kind of see somebody pull out a dual land out of a revised pack. It's just, it's very cool uh, to be a part of. And here we see the entire booster pack, and of course, the Underground Sea really stands out here as as the number one as the best card of this pick and probably of these four boosters because i cannot see how uh the last booster you know if it's also a dual land that would be amazing but underground sea is also the most valuable dual land and here you see the prices so basically what i've done um i went to card market and i said you know give me a near mint to mint underground sea from a reliable professional seller and I saw a really nice one, by the way, by a German seller, and that was going for 420. So I just said, okay, it's about 420 euros. And then the uncommon slot, it's just, there's not a lot of value in there, to be honest. It's it's pretty, uh, pretty bad, pretty bad. And uh, I mean, one euro, that's the best I can make of these three uncommons. And then in the common slot, you see that this kind of bunch is five euros, purely because of all the basic lands and also a uh, pack fresh fireball revised uh, holds a little bit of value here so that's why it's five euros and if i add all that up we're, we're having uh, the total is 426 euros so actually the person uh, who opened this booster pack got his money out of his purchase and that that you can call a small 
miracle. Um, let's go to booster number four. Obviously, these boosters aren't searched or anything, so maybe we'll find another duel. Who knows? Or a cool rare like Wheel of Fortune. So let's keep our fingers crossed and let's go to booster number four. The last booster in today's opening. And I'm also going to make uh, videos of the other packs that are under there. I believe they're also going to open the Dark and some Chronicles. Um, but now let's focus on this last revised booster pack. And I was thinking it would also be cool like to, to just get an iconic creature like a Shivan Dragon or a Sarah Angel or a Sangir Vampire, Force of Nature. Like there's so many cool cards in this set. Uh, he's opening it now. Probably want to keep the booster. The wrapper. And there we go. Now let's see. First card here is a Fire Breathing. Then we have a Spell Blast. Counter Spell would be a nice pull as well in the Uncommon slot, by the way. We have a Regeneration. We have a Drain Life. We have a Dwarven Warriors. We have the Island. The Forest. The Weakness. And COP Red. Merfolk of the Pearl Trident. And I guess, no, we're not at the Uncommons yet. We have the Dryads, so the rare is going to the back here. And let's see what uncommons we're going to pull. Here's the first one, and it's a basic swamp. And you saw this often uh, back in the day when you, in your uncommon, sometimes even your rare slot, you would find a land, a basic land. Look at that, a basic plains, ouch. Third one's a charm. It is not, it's also a basic lanes so the uncommon slot ooh not really good only basic lands so the rare has to do it now and there it is the dancing scimitar really cool card four for a one five flyer but value wise not great but a pretty cool card and i think in old school a little bit overplayed or underplayed sorry um here we see the booster pack so this was booster number four i think this is the weakest of them all to be honest and I'm just looking at it here from a value perspective. Um, and let's see, the Dancing Scimitar. Uh, yeah, you could ask like two euros for it, maybe 150. And then we've got the Basic Lance, like I said before, 50 cents each. And then we've got the Commons. And again, not really the Commons you're looking for in the revised slot. So altogether, it's about 650. Uh, do remember though, they are going to play this in a sealed event. Um, this is just a time machine, so just a throwback to 1994 when this uh, set was released. And um, that's just great, you know, that people are doing this and playing in these events and having this experience. Um, obviously, if you're an evil investor, you would never open a revised booster pack and you would always keep your box sealed. But it's a game, it's meant to be played, so just have fun with the cards, you know, that's my perspective at least so these are the cards and let's do a quick uh sum up of all of the um all of the uncommons and rares let's let's have a look so this is it this is what the player spooled out of four revised booster packs and as you can see there are only nine uncommons here because of course that last booster pack had three basic lands in the uncommon slot so there were no really real uncommons in that pack, I guess. Uh, this is it. Really nice uh, to see these cards. Like I said, Rod of Ruin is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, not very good, but I love playing it as a kid. Just this idea that you could deal one damage to any target. Also, Aladdin's Lamp that has a 10 in the casting cost there in the right corner. I always liked that. It always had something magical to me. And I always thought, if I can just get Aladdin's Lamp to work, if I can just cast it, I've won the game. Um, and um, you know that's that's the thing that that's the way that magic was I guess uh, back in those days for now uh, thank you for watching this episode of Timmy talks and uh, I'm curious to know what do you think of these sort of videos I do a lot of um, you know match videos where you see me play or you see tournament play but I don't do a lot of these type of videos of what's happening at side events or in this case this really cool opening of four revised uh, starter boosters uh, let me know what you think of these kind of things do you think it's an added value for the channel or do you think you know 
you can just let it out. For me, I just really enjoy when you're discussing decks and when I can see decks playing against each other. Just curious to hear from you to know what you think. Um, if you'd like to see more openings, by the way, there's a link appearing right now that will take you to a playlist where I open old school boosters and when you see other people opening old school uh, booster packs, so if you want to, you can click on it, you can find more videos and more content. Uh, if you want to help the channel, if you want to help me out, uh, you can do so by not using an ad blocker. So I appreciate everybody that's not doing that. Um, and also uh, like the video, uh, leave a comment, um, share the content, uh, that, that always helps. And of course subscribe if you're not a member, uh, uh, yeah, a member yet. So for now, thank you for watching this episode of Timmy Talks, at the channel where we talk old school magic and see you next time.